So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at uh, global and local variables. So a global variable, you probably know this if you come from any other programming language like Java, C, or whatever. But a global variable is basically a variable that can be accessed anywhere within your JavaScript document. And a local variable is a variable that can only be accessed within that function. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to create a, a public, uh, sorry, a global variable. And I'm going to call it var uh, right now var text so and set this equal to hello. So this is our variable. This is actually a public variable now because it's not inside a function or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a function now called write, and let's just put our curly brackets. And inside here, what we're going to do is alert. And then uh, we're going to alert text since that is this up here. And then what we need to do now is we need to run it. So we're just going to do uh, function write. Just as simple as that. Now we should see a pop up box saying the text. See, it says hello. So that is all as we expect because this is a global variable so it can be accessed within our function. Now, what about if we were to create a variable? within our function. Now if I try and alert it outside our function, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it that way. Uh, actually I'll get rid of the right in total. So what I'm going to do is alert and then text. So what this is going to hopefully do, well what you'd expect it to do, is to get this text from here. So if I run this, nothing has happened. The reason being is that this is now a local variable since it's inside the function. So it's inside the function, so it's local. Quite simply like that. So the reason why this is happening is because this hasn't, hasn't actually been run yet. So this variable hasn't actually been declared on the user's computer. So this is going, whoa, where is text? There's no such thing as text. And that's because it obviously hasn't been created. Uh, if we were to do write and save that and then run it on Chrome, you see it still doesn't work. And that is because it is a local variable. So even though this has actually been run and that variable has been stored, we still cannot use this variable because it's inside the function. So it's kind of, it cannot get out of here basically. So that's pretty much it to global and uh, private functions. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it useful, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.